You must have a cheat day now. <laughs> Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. Hi. Hello. The friends, we get a lot of people telling us you tell us to have a cheat day, accusing us of telling you that you should have a cheat day and getting angry at us because you can't handle it or because you gain weight amongst another list of excuses. However, Kyle and I have never, never in the three years that we have been on YouTube ever recommended that someone have a cheat day. Go back through all of our videos and we always say we do not recommend that people have a cheat day. It is mentally and physically difficult to do. We do recommend though that you don't take treats out of your life. So let's tell ya. First, people say, you told me to have a cheat day. You come on in the comments and you yell at us in words. In all caps. Uh-huh. And you tell us that. You can't have a cheat day because you can't get back on track and we can't have one because we're going to get fat again. And a lot of people come on and say, I hope you get fat again. You deserve to get fat again. We get lots of rude things about cheat day where we show you guys our cheat day because you like them. You ask for them. If we don't post a cheat day, we get just as many yellers say yelling, where's the cheat day? But then when we post one, we get, you're gonna get fat. You made me eat a cheat day and gain weight and you make me get off track. If, if, well, if anyone <laughs> ever ate like, like you guys eat, they'd be 500 pounds. Yeah. And, and the thing is, when you see our cheat day, we're showing you both sides of the coin. We show you on full days of eating what we eat during the week. And on cheat days, we show you what we actually eat. No, we do not throw it out. That's another thing we get yelled at. Do you throw it out? What do you do with the leftovers? Do you eat it all? Yeah, you know what? Sometimes I eat six donuts and I can lose two pounds in a week. Hello, thank you. And we are one of the only channels on YouTube or in all of social media posting our cheat foods and our regular days. Yeah. Most channels do one or the other. They're either a junk food channel where they just show you their treat days and show you nothing else, or they only tell you that they eat clean 100% of the time and they're, they're a beautiful angel that would never touch a piece of cake. We show you both. We now know our body so well that we can eat a cheat day, whatever we want, how much we want, what we want, when we want, and we eat very clean and controlled and strict during the week and we work our butts off. You guys get to see the cheat day and you get to see some of our life. But the parts of our life that you don't see, we're busting our butts. We're literally dripping buckets of sweat when we come out of the gym. My hat is soaked. My clothes are soaked. My socks are soaked from sweat. We work so intense in fasted cardio and in the gym, nobody sees those parts. Nobody sees the hours of meal prep that well, we, we put in. Well, we show them, yes. but they only comment on the cheat days. Yes. Some people. Now, a lot, of, a lot of you guys appreciate the cheat days. Yes, and we're talking specifically to the yellers. And a, not lot, the a lot of our friends appreciate the honesty that comes from yes. our channel. That is very but true. But there are a number of people that never comment on the fact that we do fasted cardio seven days a week, 365 days a year for over th three years now. Yep. They don't, cause they're taking things out of context. So if they see us eat a cheeseburger, oh, you guys just, you guys eat like crap and this is bad for you and you shouldn't be eating that. Oh, and then as if it's not enough to comment on what we eat on the cheat day, then you go and you pick apart what we eat during the week that we're showing you. Yellers, we're trying to help you. Okay. <laughs> we're showing what worked for us because we see a big gap in the market yes. of honesty and, and aliens like us don't exist, you know, just in the wild very often. It's not common to see people that have done what we've done no, and also not. are honest that we still eat treats. 
Exactly. A lot of people will tell you we've lost a ton of weight. And how did we do it? We just stayed away from treats. Yeah. We, Kyle and I have been there, done that for years and years and years. And we wish that we had this channel, our channel, when we were ready to lose weight. So what we're showing you, cheat days included, is we're trying to help you. We're trying to give you the alternative alternative route so to speak to the mainstream to the mainstream because mainstream is you know often go go get a nutritionist right now and they'll tell you you should you know limit your processed foods and sugars and stay away from junk food and go to a personal trainer and ask for a meal plan and they'll tell you if you want to lose weight don't eat treats and eat this specific diet we are telling you don't change your food when you're first starting portion your food eat what you want in portions moderation and don't take away treats balance moderation. this is about a lifestyle change not a diet this is about loving life to its fullest and loving what you eat so we don't recommend a cheat day because most people they can't handle it and we're not saying this because we're trying to say we're better than you well, yeah we're not we trying can we're, handle not, it. we're not trying to sound cocky we're just what we experienced even in the very beginning the guilt can overcome you when you have a cheat day you really have to work on your mental state before you have a cheat day because you can feel incredibly guilty and that will throw you off track you have to allow yourself to have the cheat day do we say don't have a cheat day no if you want to try it try it but do we say have a cheat day no we say do what works for you. Some people prefer to have portion treats throughout the week, which is how we started. Other people do a meal. We have lots of people that tell us what they're having for their cheat meal or send us pictures of their cheat meal. And we think that's so cool because you're incorporating foods that you love while sticking to your plan. better choices throughout the week. You're not labeling foods. You're saying, Everything is cool in my diet at one point. You know, we're not saying foods are good or bad or junk or healthy. We're saying all foods can benefit my life at some point. There's a time and a place for all foods. Some yes. of you guys like little snacks every day or little treats every day. And, that and that's works cool for you. too. You know, when we first started, we had half a cup of ice cream and two sugar cookies, two low sugar cookies every single day for the first couple months and we lost weight doing it. That's why we tell you portion control works because you can eat what you like and you can keep treats in there. And you know what we would recommend if you if you're not ready for a cheat day or you don't think you can ever handle one and you don't really want portion treats throughout the week is a treat meal. And a lot of people are having one. A lot of viewers, um, we get a lot of comments about that. And a so, treat meal works. It worked for us for a while. Um, it, it can be a great relief to you, to your psyche, and it can be a great motivator. You can go once a week. You plan it out. You choose the restaurant. You can pick an entree, a main course, and a dessert. That's yeah. what we consider a treat meal. Like we, that's about what we did, right? For a treat meal. Yeah, we did a, a meal and we did um, a dessert. snack and a dessert. You know and. Um, for, so, for example, we would eat pizza and french fries and then we would share um, a bag of chips and then we would have dessert, usually ice cream, usually each of Ben and Jerry's. Now, let's switch over to um, another thing we wanted to talk about. Um, oh yeah, in our opinion, there is a reason why you see a lot of the big Instagrammers, big YouTubers, why they will tell you never to touch treats and junk food they are interested in repeat customers. Now, not all of them. There are no. a lot of honest people out there, but a lot of the big companies will tell you and that their, their spokesperson or people or whatever you want to call them will tell you to avoid treats because they say, don't touch real chocolate cake, have our chocolate cake protein powder smoothie. It's just as good. Right. They're interested in repeat customers. You don't see me and Nicole selling any products. We're not sponsored by anything. The only thing we sell, which is on sale until this Thursday, <laughs> is our ebook, which shows wink, wink. exactly 
mine and Nicole's diet to lose the first 50 pounds. There is no false advertising. You and get what you pay for and it's on sale till Thursday. 20% <laughs> Link in the description. And it promotes that you eat treats. It has treats built into the meal plan. That's a good point. And we want you guys to not need the starter plan or to we don't want you to keep going back to square one all the time. We put in there a blueprint on how you can move on and create your own custom meal exactly. plan exactly based off of ours there is a two-week meal plan to show you give you an idea of what helps to lose weight and then we have the blueprint the guideline of how to customize your own so that you don't have to come back we you're want, welcome to but you don't have to we you want, can do it on your own we want once we start selling our clothing line, which is going to be coming up soon, we want repeat customers. So yeah. I'll put that note <laughs> in there. But for our meal plan to start out, we want everyone to get this common knowledge and how simple it can be and we, how much yeah. you can enjoy your life. We don't want repeat customers coming back and back and back, failing and failing. And saying, yeah, this doesn't work. No, we want you to be successful. We, we've gotten actually a couple of before and after pictures of people who've lost 30, 80 pounds. And we want those. We want your before and after pictures. We want your results. We want you to succeed, and which is why we started this channel, which is why we wrote the ebook, which is why we're on here all the time. The, and the cool thing is we joke around about buying the ebook. The cool thing is over three years of videos, over 500 videos we've posted on YouTube for free. You can check out what we're eating exactly, exactly in, you know, in that time and place in the full days of eating. You can watch our grocery hauls. We give you guys everything we got. Yeah, we do. And when we put our cheat days up there, it's not for us to be attacked. It's to show you. It's more than just to show you the treats too, which we have said before. When we show our cheat day and we show us having fun and enjoying food and eating what we want, when we want, how much we want, we're showing you not to be scared of food, not to label food, not to feel guilty about eating food and to be okay for liking treats because all of those things we, we felt guilty all the time. We were embarrassed to admit that we liked food. We, I never would have shown what I ate ever. We want to shock you and want you to break this freaking sick cycle that you're on of saying, I was bad because I ate ice cream on Saturday. Now come Monday morning, I'm going to be perfect for the next 70 years and yep. I'm only going to eat broccoli and plain chicken. We and want then, you to break this thought pattern because it's not working. No, because Let's you do it, it for five minutes and then you can't do it anymore. And then you go back and you binge. And we've been there and done that. That's why we can stand here preaching to you that keeping treats in your life is beneficial. And we do not recommend anything that you don't feel comfortable with. It's on you. If you think you want to try a cheat day, that's your choice. A cheat meal, your choice. Treats during the week, your choice. We're just giving you the option, showing you what we do. And we want you to love your life and be proud of who you are. And we really want you to not judge people for how much food that they're eating because we get judged for how much we eat. But again, you're not looking at the rest of our life. We want you and to have a sustainable lifestyle as well. Exactly. And eating that on cheat day, if I want six donuts or, you know, I want a pint of ice cream or a liter of ice cream and I eat it or whatever it is that I eat, I don't have to touch treats for the rest of the week ever until my cheat day. I can sit and watch people eat whole pizzas and ice cream and treats and not need any of it because I allow myself to eat what I want. And the same goes for Kyle. So when you can not judge people anymore for what they eat and really allow yourself to eat what you want, you won't care anymore what people eat on their cheat. You might want to eat what they're eating on their cheat. You day. might want to have a cheat day party with them. Yeah, but you're not going to judge them for what they're eating. Because when I see people eating, 
I'm like, oh man, I want to eat that. I want to eat more than what they're eating. Or I hope I wanna... they enjoy what they're eating. Yeah, or I hope they eat 10 more donuts so I can watch them. <laughs> you know, like, it's different once you allow yourself, once you open the door and make food okay and not a bad thing. And that's what this video is really about. Yeah, it's to say, yeller, stop it. But it's also to say, we were where you where you are if you're judging us and we appreciate those that appreciate us and enjoy our videos but we were also on the other side putting others down for what they were eating too and we just want to say that's because you haven't allowed yourself to fully appreciate and be okay with liking food yet so we just want you to say it's okay to do that and it's necessary if you want to enjoy life and lose weight and keep it off. So, thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below, folks. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Or what? You're gonna get like the sassy head of doom? With those pigtails shaking around. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, guys.